Oh, just had this Flute 12 in. I had the best at reviewing these, but I ain't done a video on it, one of these, so I thought I'd just do a quick video. Obviously, built like a brick, as all flukes are. It's got a lot of functionality on this one. It's got volts, AC, DC, continuity, resistance, min max, capacitance, I forget what that is, range. <laughs> so it's got a lot of functionality on it, but I don't like this button set up. I see why they went back to dials. It looks good and futuristic, but you're always constantly swapping and you don't know which one's which. Well, it ain't that hard, but it's not amazingly difficult to do it. You soon get used to it, but still ain't as good as a dial. But, it's a fluke and you know it's going to work perfect. So how you get, you got to, that's folks like uh, DC. So super fast precise readings. Then I think you go to there. I ain't quite used to it yet. We don't really want to be messing about looking at all this. You want to be fast when you're working. Really fast resistance again. Try this diode, see if it beeps. I don't know how to get the diode though. Uh, that's that, that's it. <laughs> Easy. Yep, it's got the usual fluke beep, one way. So you can test multiple, you can test dials really fast. Uh, that's all the bits and bobs I've got. Oh no, I've got a capacitor. So, obviously you just press capacitors for that, that's pretty easy. Nine six four microfarads. I can't read it. Can't read it. So, <laughs> oh well, works perfect. Built like a brick. Good stand on the back. I love these old leads from Fluke. We've changed them now to all sorts of different twist guard ones and all that, but. These are still brilliant leads, even though you lose the ends off them. So, volts AC and DC, continuity, diode mode, you got min max functions. Volt check as well, I forgot about that, so it'll tell you whether you're testing. Uh, DC or AC automatically so yeah brilliant tool just a bit too complicated button wise for me I'll go back to the dial 